Well, let's talk to George Zizashvili, who's a senior principal games analyst at the tech research firm Omdia. Uh, good to see you again, George. So uh, Netflix has said it wants to expand the number of video games it offers. How ambitious are the company's plans? It is ambitious, but uh, Netflix are taking baby steps when it comes to gaming, and I think that's a smart move. So they've, they've launched their uh, kind of games portal within the Netflix app uh, over two years now. They have about 70 games that they offer exclusively to the subscribers of Netflix. Uh, but uh, as I said, they are taking baby steps here, and they know that if they rush into this space, as some of the other tech giants have, then they will face some trouble. So what they're doing now is really focusing on uh, figuring out what the, the key proposition it is for them. I don't think they're going to be going uh, kind of head to head against like in the likes of PlayStation and Xbox, but instead they're going to really focus on essentially launching games which tie in with popular TV shows. So already we've seen some success of uh, games uh, that, uh, that are based on things like Stranger Things, popular TV show, or Too Hot to Handle, or and I expect in the future we will see other games based on their popular TV shows such as Squid Game. So obviously we know Netflix for, for streaming uh, films and television and so on. Uh, why are they getting big into gaming? Is it just because it's such a large market? Yeah, and, and, and as John has mentioned, the, the number of new subscribers coming in uh, and uh, number of new subscribers being added by Netflix is slowing down. So now they need to look at other ways of increasing revenue. And of course, you know, raising prices is one of them. But the other important thing is retention, user retention. And gaming, again, this is in their eyes can at least help solve that problem. Essentially, not only making Netflix a destination for watching video, but also supplementing that with gaming and keeping users engaged in the Netflix app and Netflix ecosystem. So I want to stay with gaming uh, and talk about a completely different company, uh, that huge merger in the sector with Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard. Uh, that has now gone through, but there were some hurdles along the way, weren't there? Yes, there's the way. So uh, earlier this year, the UK regulator threw a spanner in the works by saying that they're not going to allow this. Uh, since then, of course, there's been some readjustments from on the Microsoft's part. Uh, it was mostly to do with cloud gaming and uh, the UK regulators believe that Microsoft would have uh, kind of the dominant position in this space. But uh, given some of the changes that Microsoft has made, the CMA has now approved it. So it, it's, it has gone through now, essentially, as of uh, last Friday. George, good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. That's George Zizashvili, uh, Senior Principal Games Analyst at the tech research firm Omdia.